Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy Tej, and today I'm be showing y'all how to make a beat for Culture 3 by Migos, kind of similar to Verta Beats. I'm gonna be using kind of like a pan flute melody with some one shots. I'm gonna be breaking down a little bit of my sound selection and how I went through the drums and all that. As always, I'll have the full beat played at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around for that. And with all that out of the way, let's just hop right into the beat. Starting off with the melodies, all of my melody sounds are using one shots. Most of them are from this KBZ one shot kit, Fight Up. First thing I wanted to do was add like a percussive melodic sound just to kind of yeah, lay out like the foundation for the melody. So I ended up going with this sound. And with that, I ended up making this melody in D minor. So for this sound, since it's really basic and it's kind of like a foundational one, I didn't go too crazy on the notes. But just to give it a little more character, I just changed the velocities on some of the notes, just kind of rolled them down or had a descending or ascending pattern in parts of it. Then I added like this whistle flute sound. And with this one, I went into here and I put an envelope on it just so that the notes don't bleed into each other. And then I came up with this melody along with the first one. For my next melody sound, I decided to get kind of like a more ambient pluck sound. And using that, I kind of just made this little counter melody to add a little more depth to what we had so far. All right, and then I threw this into a mixer. So what I did is I went to the second one and hit Control Shift L. So all of these three sounds went in consecutively into the mixer. Starting off with the first sound, I put a low cut on it and I put some RC20 on it. It's pretty similar to just the normal vinyl preset. I just turned the noise off and I put a low cut on it and turned the width up a little bit. And for the whistle sound, put some super massive on and also put an EQ, cut out some of the mids and the harshness and the highs and put a compressor on it just to make it sound a little louder. And for the ambient sound, just put this EQ on it. So then I rendered these out. So just click these red dots right here and then hit Alt-R, pulls up this thing, click Start, and then it renders out these three audio clips. And now that we got these three audio clips, I just went to each one, double clicked on them and turned the pitch down by one half step. And then the next melody I added was this string sound also from that same KBZ one-shot kit. And I also enveloped this just so the notes don't bleed out. And I came up with this melody pattern. And that kind of just acts more as like a bass line. So put that into the mixer and put on a sound goodizer to make it a little louder and then put a bandpass EQ on it. And the last part of my melody I added was the sub bass. And again, this sound is also envelopes. So with all five of the melodies put together, we got something that sounds like this. So after that, I kind of went and arranged my melodies a little bit and I got started on the drums. So first thing I added was this clap. Then I put in this hi-hat pattern from one of my hi-hat midis. Most of the bounce in this hi-hat pattern comes from these little low notes here. I've used this in a couple videos before this, but what they are is just these kind of like bass notes that kind of ride along with the hi-hats but they're really low in velocity, so they're kind of hard to hear unless you're really looking out for them in the final beat. And add some more depth to them so they don't sound too shallow. Pretty much most of the rolls are using the one third step setting in the magnet tool up here. So next, added this open at sound. Then after that, added a snare pattern. 
and put in a couple of these rolls right here using the one half step setting in the magnet tool. Next, I added the 808, and this is probably one of the more important things in sound selection. I went through like three or four different 808s before I settled on one that I did. And so the one that I got sounds something like this. It's almost like a grittier Zay 808. I put in this 808 pattern. I didn't go too crazy on the rolls or anything, but definitely has a decent amount of character to it. So for this roll right here and the roll at the ends, I just used the one half step setting in this little magnet tool up here and sliced on these grid lines. Then I did this cowbell perk. Then I added another more subtle open hat sound. And last thing I did was add a kick. All right, so that's all I got. As always, thank y'all for watching the video. If you got this far, leave a like on the video if you liked it. Hit the sub button if you want to see more content like this. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me do next. Go follow my Instagram. Link will be in the description or at Beats by Tej. And that's all I got, so I'll see y'all later. Deuces. Yo, Tess, what's up? Yo, Tess, what's up? What's up? What's up?